Cool. All right, folks, how's it going? This is technically my first ever solo buffy night. And the reason I'm saying technically is I've brought my little dog with me, Little Luna, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So she's coming along for the journey. She always looks sad when I leave. My bag sits at the bottom of the, the stairs and she's always looking sad. Where are you going, Daddy? So I've decided to take her. Here's a cool little quarry. Luna's recall is pretty much bang on, but she does have a little Achilles heel, and that's wildlife. This way, Luna! This way! Yeah, her Achilles heel is wildlife, and if I'm not quick, she can sometimes dart after them. This boffy that we're going to has got a bit of a reputation for being haunted, but the story behind the haunting has actually been debunked which we'll talk about later on but a lot of other people have actually reported supernatural experiences so it'll be interesting to see if me and Luna experience anything tonight I doubt it, but you never know You know you're getting closer to the boffy when the mountain Ben Alder makes its appearance it's a big, huge pudding of a mountain with a massive plateau and it just demands your attention. It's a fantastic mountain and it's shrouded in mystery. Legend has it that a woman deliberately took the red coats over the crags all to their death just so the soldiers could not find Bonnie Prince Charlie. Of course, Bonnie Prince Charlie's cave sits just above the boffy, further up the hill, but then historians reckon they've actually found another cave that's probably more likely to be the real one so the one marked on the map possibly isn't the right cave In more recent times, a Frenchman travelled from his hometown in France, he caught the ferry to Dover when he got to Britain, he sold his car he jumped on the Caledonian sleeper got the train all the way to Courier Station which is literally just over that way behind me there he walked to Ben Alder up to the summit, shot himself in the chest with a lead pistol only to be found by a hill walker later on sad story and his parents are convinced, even to this day I believe that he was in fact murdered so his body got exhumed, sent back to France I think he's been looked at coroners both in the UK and in France and I think both have concurred that he was in fact suicide the ballistic reports suggest with the gunpowder that he held the gun into his chest and shot himself so uh, yeah some really tragic stories surrounding this mountain wow folks first sight of Loch Eric what a view this is stunning fantastic This is it folks, the end of the track with two kilometres left to go to the boffy so it's not too bad, I thought it was three kilometres it's two, so that should take about 20 minutes to half an hour to do um, yeah, I remember it being really boggy just behind me here is where me and Kevin locked up the bikes the last time and we just walked the last two kilometres so uh, yeah, anyways, let's get going Hey Lumens! Christ on that bike! Honestly, don't follow those posts they're taking you towards Loch Ossian I think we want to be going up and over in between the trees so if I had to deviate my route there she is folks there she is and I have no idea why I'm referring to a boffy as a she 
but hopefully the camera's picking it out. So there's two guys and two dogs next door. And so as well, Luna never got on me one of them. And I'll have to stay through here and just make sure the dogs don't come into contact. Okay, folks, the snack of the day is ready. And it's these coca curry flavored noodles. Nicely hydrated. Let's get some noodle edge on the go. Mmm, these are good. Boys and wholesale and Costco. Mm -hmm. Two other guys have just arrived. Luna was literally just settling down and then they came in. And she like all over them like a rash, eh? They're just a big friendly thing, you. Yeah, just so friendly. But anyways, hopefully they'll come through with some firewood and then they can settle down for the night. So that's five people so far and three dogs. Uh, may PBJs and honeybee. Get it in the death, I swear. You know, over Wait, just take the cake off the box, surely. Oh, look at the skills. Oh, God. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sam. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hey. Hip hip. Hey. Hip hip. Hey. hey. Speech! Oh. These guys are like half my age. <laughs> Makes me feel old in here. 42 and these guys are all 20, 21. As long as I offer my bit of birthday cake, that's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's good. Um, face hats. Yay! It's like Russia, yeah. very close to Russia. Del Very cold. Belgrade. Quite big. Oh, what's that, Serbia? Yeah. Yay. Um, pirates. Yeah, pirates. pirates. Uh, no. oh, oh, uh, Modern uh, pirates. Yeah. Right, guys, I'm off. Have a good one. Uh, best of luck. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> your birthday weekend. Yeah. Catch us. Uh, <laughs> right, Luna, you ready? You ready? Let's go. Good girl. I thought that was a golden eagle. It could actually be a white tailed eagle. Wow. Well, it's a little bit fresh this morning compared to yesterday but that was a, a really good bluffing night, I enjoyed that so we had five folk and one dog in my room there was another two dogs and two people in the right hand room and there was two lads in the middle room, the snug as I call it didn't get a chance to film them unfortunately just because it was busy but uh, that was a fantastic night away I almost bailed because I was worried Luna wouldn't settle I was also concerned that she would get out during the night if somebody was going out for a pee or get into confrontation with the dog next door because they just did not get on. It was not love at first sight. <laughs> but uh, everybody mentioned about how the boffies haunted and in reality the story behind the haunting 
isn't true because McCook, who was the, I think he was the head gamekeeper at the time, was allegedly found hanging from the rafters in the boffy. But the actual truth is, he died of natural causes. I think it was in Newton Moor. So that story's been debunked. But then people have reported supernatural sort of occurrences. And again, there's been theories that the noises they heard could have been a, a stag rattling its antlers on the back of the building. So I don't know. And I know you're, if you're on your own, your imagination can run totally wild. But anyways, that'll do for now. I've got some other boffy videos here if you wish to watch them. Otherwise, I shall catch you next one. Cheers.